So it had been really easy for him to say, let that be your problem. I'm quite comfortable right where I'm at. He had a lot of excuses to not be concerned. And yet, what we see is he was. How many times have we said, I would love to help you, but I got this going on right now. I would love to help you, but it's just not a good time. I would love to be there, but I've got this. How many times have we been placed in the very same situation as Nehemiah where we have an opportunity and the question is, will you step up and in or will you just ignore it and hope it goes away? And what we see with him is he responded and he responded in a lot of ways. Helen Keller once said, science may have found a cure for most evils, but has not found, uh, but has found no remedy for the worst of them all. And that is the apathy of human beings. Fortunately, what we will find as we study Nehemiah is he was not apathetic. He was not apathetic. He cared. And the first thing he did is he cared enough to ask. In verse 2, I asked them about the Jews that returned from their captivity and about how things are going. You know, good leaders ask lots of questions. And good leaders also shut their mouths and listen to the answers. And what I appreciate about Nehemiah is right off the bat, he actually took the time to ask, how are things going? And it seems, based on his response, he actually was listening and waiting for a response. Now, let's be honest here. We all lots of times ask people this question. So how you doing? And then let's also go a little bit farther and be honest. We don't want them to answer that question, right? So how you doing? Because what we're really saying is, how you doing? Like, how's the weather? You know, it's just kind of a, hey, how you doing? And isn't it a little startling when they're like, you don't want to know. I mean, do you have some time? Because you would not believe what is going on with me right now. Everything is like going terrible. And, and as you're sitting there hearing this, what are you really thinking? How can I back myself out of this conversation? I was not expecting them to respond to my, how are you doing? A lot of times we ask questions, then we don't take the time to listen. 